Hey, O Tudic here, back with more Pokemon Leaf Green. Last time we made our way through Mount Moon. But there is something I would like to go back and check right quick. So we're just gonna jump back in. If you click on this rock, there is a moonstone right there. So kind of missed, kind of forgot, remembered, and had to come back. So, now that being said, we can get out of this cave. And move on to Route 4, where we will now talk about the Pokemon, new Pokemon on this route. See you in a minute! So, on Route 4, we have two new Pokemon to be encountered. And we will start with number 23, Ekans. Uh, pure poison type, uh, with uh, two abilities, Intimidate or Shed Skin. Intimidate means uh, when it enters battle, it lowers its opponent's attack by one stage. It can be kind of annoying, but it helps its lackluster defenses, so not bad. Not the worst. Like, it could be on a better Pokemon, but it, it, this is not the worst for Ekans. And Shed Skin has one in th about 30% chance, which is not exactly one in three, but uh, of carrying status condition each turn. We've seen that with Metapod and Kukuna. It's it's nothing new at this point. Um, it has a catch rate of 255. This is a Fire Red exclusive, so it is 25% of the rarity, level 6 to 12. If you have a look at its base stats, it's got it's a, got 60 attack and 55 speed, and everything else is not great. Ekans, it's famous for the anime, but it's not great. It's got access to stuff like, I think, Claire in this game. And it can, so it can paralyze. And, I mean, Poison is not, is a pretty good typing, um, but it doesn't really have the defenses to pull it off. Offensively, it doesn't do a whole lot. Um, I've always played Leaf Green, so I've never really had to use an Ekans, so I don't quite, n I've never found the room to use Ekans myself. Probably not great, this is probably a middle, middle of the road Pokemon. Yeah, if, if you really like Jesse and James from the anime, Sure, I guess. You can make anything work in, in single player. Like, varying degrees of difficulty, but you can make anything work. So, I'm sure you can find something to do with Ekans, but I'm really drawing a blank. So, I personally cannot recommend this one. And now the other Pokemon we have on this route. Number 27, Sand True, pure ground type. Avail ability is, sh is Sand Veil, which means its uh, invasion increases in a sandstorm. Uh, this is a Leaf Green exclusive, so its catch rate is 255, its rarity is 25%, it's level 6 to 12, it's it's just like Ekans, so they, they generally do that, yeah. And I have a look at its base set, it's got okay HP, pre pretty solid attack and defense, and everything else is not really worth writing home about. It's slow, it, it, it sp can't take a special hit, despite being a bit of a tank. This is a physical tank, really. Um... It's got some utilities. Um, it can learn rapid spin, so it could be good for getting rid of like lead seed or other other such things. Entry hazards, spikes, poison spikes, stuff like that. So it could be good for th that sort of thing. It's defensive. If you like a defensive mod, this one will probably do you good. Just don't let it get hit by a special attack. Um, I personally quite like Sandshrew. I think it's cute and I've used Sand Slash many a time. It uh, it evolves at level 22 into Sand Slash, so not too late. That's actually a pretty good level. It could be really handy for you if you took Squirtle for the third gym in particular. Yeah, so I mean it's not a bad Pokemon, it's just slow and you have to know its limitations as in don't let it get hit with a special attack. If I enjoy Sans Fruit, I could probably recommend this one. Okay, and here we are. We're back with the uh, Route 4, Mount Moon to Cerulean City. So here we are in Route 4. We have these two gentlemen. A kick of brutal ferocity, packed with destructive power. When you get right down to it, Mega Kick is the ultimate attack. Don't you agree? Okay, I'll teach it to your Pokemon. Who can be learned only once? <laughs> We're not gonna teach Lucy Mega Kick. A punch of roaring ferocity, packed with destructive power. When the chips are down, Mega Punch is the ultimate attack. You agree, yes? Now, let me teach it to your Pokemon. No. Get me back when you understand the worth of Mega Punch. Then... Found the Raspberry! Okay, I don't really see... Found TM05. 
Let's have a look and see if I see any... Okay, I don't really see anywhere else the other berry would be, so... Or the great ball. Uh, you can come back here later with, um... With the, with the item finder and find those. I just knew where one of them was right off the bat, but we got the important thing, so... We will just hop down the sledge. Got to stop using Brutus for things. It would help with someone if most of the team were still up. I don't know if we'll catch any of these Pokemon here. We may catch one. There is one I might want. Because I'm playing... Leaf Green, I can get it. I'm talking about Sand Shrew. There's no use in being coy when I've already done the bios for them all. <laughs> we hope to see you again. So I may just go have a look for that, but first... Only skilled trainers can collect Pokemon badges. I see you have at least one. Those badges have amazing secrets, did you know? Now then. No. Come and visit me anytime you wish. More importantly, I want... To find the rare candy. I did not change the info for Cerulean, but there is a rare candy right there, so... Uno more mento. And bada boom, bada bing, by the power of editing, I have all the items you can find here. In Cerulean City. So. I can collect a variety of medicine from berry powder. Using good berry powder, I can make any kind of medicine. Now tell me, have you any interest in berries? Oh, good for you then, I have just the thing. That's how you get the powder, though. There's something new on the second floor of Pokemon Centers, at the direct corner. They installed a wireless adapter machine for crushing berries. That's where you come in. I have a favor to ask, one that I can entrust only to you. Could you make powder, berry powder for me using that machine? Don't forget, the machine is at the direct corner of Pokemon Centers. I'll concoct medicine for you if you bring me some berry powder. Don't forget, crush berries into berry powder and bring it to me. So we have a side quest for berry powder. Too bad for you, everybody's healed up, and I'm not changing the information back. Should I? Yes. Will I? Absolutely not. It's a lot of work, okay? I'm not complaining, but it is a lot of work. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of complaining. I don't know why I'm showing this battle. This will be the only battle I show. After this, I'm just gonna cut ahead to... Finding Sandshrew. So, see you guys in a minute! Okay, and we have found Sandshrew. It is level 6. We're gonna just go to Darren's. Darren's won't hurt it too much. <laughs> Cause Darren's will miss! Darren's, please! There we go. Now, to think of what we're going to call this little cute patoot. <laughs> Look at her being all cute. I like Sandry, okay. They're very cute. Very cute! And let's see, what can I get away with calling this one? Burrows deep underground in arid locations far from water. It only emerges to hunt for prey. Of course, I will just cut ahead until I think of something. We will name this Sandshrew Opal. Because she's a gem. Don't look at me like that. You can't look at me like that, so... <laughs> anyway, now that we have Sandshrew, we're going to go back to the Peace Pokemon Center. Let's just call it the PC, but I mean, we'll have to go get her. So somebody, somebody's journey with us is kind of taking a backseat. And obviously she's also not a permanent team member. Did I mention it's going to be a while before we get any... Most of my team is coming in late. But it's fine. I have it mostly planned out. So. 
Don't worry about it. Item none! Spatula. I love the fact that our drain queenie, spatula, siri, moonbeam, and opal. Okay, so. Anatole, I think your time is over. You know what? I want both of you. No, you're, you're both coming. You're both along for the ride. I could use somebody else. I don't need two birds. But I've already established that, uh... Why do I want Opal? I can't remember why I want that Sandshrew. Who knows? For laughs. I'm trying to think of what we're doing next. We... Are going to... queue to the Mart. We'll buy a few of those. We'll buy a few of those. A few of those. We'll buy more of those, actually. Please come again! I have things I could sell. But I'm not going to bother. We are, and I'm not going to save here. I'm gonna go out this way. Yo, Tunic! You're still struggling along back here? I'm doing great! I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me see what you caught, Tunic. Get out of here, you fart. Rival fart with like the battle. <laughs> I'm glad I've uh, I have made some people not so happy with the battle. Oh, that's almost so mean. Come on, Lucy. I made some people not so happy with the whole fart thing, but um, that's okay. It's my place. <laughs> oh, <laughs> static got him. Static got him. The crit! Oh, Lucy. Lucy's out here, like, pow pow. Giving them the old one two. Yeah, we can use Brutus for this. I don't trust that this is not out for revenge. You lowered my defenses for what? I love the one two combo. I'm going to use that the entire game. I love that. Now, Elite Seed finishes it off. Whoop bam! And now I switch out because it's going to use Tremeleon. Charmander, okay, yeah. Uh, let's go to Darren's. Let's give Darren a try. I don't have a whole lot of faith in Darren's right now, but you know. Okay, it'll use Growl. But Darren's will use Sand Attack. You're gonna get the Curse of Darren's. Not much of a curse of Darren's, honestly. You can catch another one, my guy.
Nope. Okay, Darren, you put up a good fight. Thank you, Darren. It would be hilarious, but I have no hope. We're not actually going to stick with that. I just wanted to see if I could do it. Either way, Opal will get ex Wow. You're a jerk. Okay, Lucy, clean up. Clean up crew for Lucy. It's faster than it. Holy cow. Holy guacamole. If I have to use Abra, I can use literally anything. We'll use Opal. Literally all ab it should have evolved by now, but literally all it can do is use teleport and fail because it's a trainer battle. So this is free EXP for Opal. GG, it's over. Opal Grudel level 7 Opal Grudel level 8 Most importantly, we defeated, we defeated Bart! Hey! Take it easy! You won already! Give me your money, chump! Hey, guess what? I went to Bill's and got him to show me his rare Pokémon! That added a lot of pages to my Pokédex. After all, Bill's a wor world famous as a Pokémaniac. He invented the Pokémon storage system on PC, too! Since you're using his system, you should go thank him. Well, I better get rolling. See you later! Oh, yeah, right. I feel sorry for you. No, really, you're always plodding behind me. So here, I'll give you a little present as a favor. A chatty gossip like you? That thing's perfect. I don't need it because I don't give a hoot about others. Alright, this time I really am God. Smell ya! You're the one named Bart! He insists on smelling, you might as well call him a fart smeller. <laughs> I can't take him seriously. You know what, I think he has every reason to be mad when I've- when I've named him Fart. This must be your first time up here. I'll show you how the wireless communication system works. First, I need to show you this floor of our Pokemon Center. Right this way, please. On the top floor, there are two rooms. First, the room on the left. It's the Union Room. You may link up with trainers around you who have also entered the Union Room. With them, you may do things like chat, battle, and trade. Second, the room on the right is the Direct Corner. You may trade or battle Pokemon with your friends in this room. If the wireless adapter isn't connected, you may still link up using a GBA Game Link cable. If that is the case, you must go to the Direct Corner. Hope you enjoy the- so yeah, you would- you would go in here to do the berry thing, but... Uh, we're not connecting to anybody, so that will have to wait for another day. Anyway, we kick butt. I feel like maybe I should put people in on the bottom there, but they're not part of the team. They're not official. They're just kind of holding down space. Now we're going up this way to Route 24, where we will talk about the new Pokemon to be found on this route. Woo! Alright, so out here on Route 24, the first new Pokemon we have is number 43, Otters, the Grass Poison type. Its ability is Chlorophyll, so when Sunny Day is in effect, its speed is doubled, which makes it uh, pretty fast. Its catch rate is 255, it has 25%, levels 12 to 14. And uh, this is a Fire Red exclusive, and it makes my heart hurt because I love Oddish, but I always play Leaf Green, so I can never get it. Yeah. Anyway, if you have a look at the stats over here, base stats over here, you can see uh, 
It's got good uh, special attack and pretty good special defense. Everything else is kind of eh, but this this just audition based stats. So they will follow along similar trains at least until you get to like Blossom, but not available in the in the main story. So we're not gonna worry about Blossom. I think it just becomes like sort of a speedy like special attacker. Whereas Vileplume is definitely much more of a tank. Essentially, you can play Vileplume like a poor man's Venusaur. If you didn't take Bulbasaur, Oddish would probably be your best bet for getting something like that. It's it's not not quite as good, but it's it like what it does well, it does really well. Evolves in, at level twenty one into Gloom. Evolves through either the Leaf Stone into Vileplume or Sunstone into Blossom. But you can't get Blossom, so I love Oddish. That's my only problem is like, uh, do I take Bulbasaur? Like the only reason I always take Bulbasaur. In if I were playing Fire Red, I probably would have taken Squirtle. Yes, I would have taken Squirtle because I really love Oddish, and this would have been a team member. But I am not playing Fire Red, so this can't be a team member. I'm very sad. That. I I adore Oddish. Like it's low, and you have to know how to work around its weakness. So grass poison, like psychic, flying, fire. Obviously, if you can work around those, and you can get used to the speed, um, yeah, you'll do fine. Take into account that it's going to take damage before it hits. Like easy, it's great, it's amazing, and well, okay, it's not really amazing. I'm just out here being biased and singing my praises. But I love Oddish. I recommend Oddish. So. And next up, uh, we have uh, the leaf green option, number 69, Bellsprout. Not like any joke about the number. Grass poison, chlorophyll for its ability. Uh, all the information is the same as, you know, Otis 255, 25% rarity, 12 to 14, yada yada. We have a look at its base stats. It's faster than Oddish, and it's. It's more of an attacking Pokemon. Like, Oddish is defensive with special attacking capabilities. Bellsprout is offensively based, and therefore its defenses are like a wet paper bag. Personally, I've heard this one is kind of better. I've never found a reason to use it. Maybe I should in, in a future playthrough. Maybe I will try Bellsprout, because I don't really... I don't know. I don't like starting out the game with rap, okay? <laughs> I think it's a bit hard to use at first, but once it's... Once it gets to the point of rolling, it probably does pretty all right. I feel like they're probably pretty equal in in that regard. Like, I haven't used it. I'm guessing Victory Bell is also pretty good. Like, uh, probably about the, maybe about the same level as Vile Poop. I feel like that's pretty fair. So, Vile's at level 21 into Weeping Bell and Leaf Stone for Victory Bell. So, don't really have to worry about that too much. Uh, you can actually get Leaf Stones. You can get, you can get Leaf Stones at a pretty good point in the game. So, you can, you can have Victory Bell. I had a pretty pretty good point in the game, so um, honestly, I would I haven't used it myself, but I mean, there's nothing on paper I think that would say don't give it a try. Like I'd say give it a try. I'm sure it's gonna be pretty good. It's a three stage grass type. If you don't have Bulbasaur, you're playing Leaf Green. This might be and you and you want a grass type. This might be okay. This might be for you. And now for the last new Pokemon on this route, we have number sixty three Abra, Psychic type. Pokemon. It has two abilities. It's got synchronized, so when Abra is inflicted with a status and ailment, the opponent is inflicted with the same status. So if you paralyze it, you'll be paralyzed. If you burn it, you'll be burnt, unless you're fire type, which most of the time that is true. Stuff like that. You put it to sleep, you'll probably be put to sleep. Inner focus uh, prevents flinching. Also pretty good. So if they use fake it, they can't, can't flinch it. Uh, if we have a look at the other info here, we've got uh, catch rate is 200. Rarity is 15%. Level 8 to 12. The problem with Abra is not, like, it's got a lower catch rate. You're, you're going to be looking for it a little longer, probably. And the only move it has until level 16, when it falls into Kadabra, by the way, is teleport. So it's a fast little guy, and it's going to try to run from you at every chance. So it's not going to be the easiest thing to catch. If you have a look at its base stats, it's got absolutely terrible HP attack and defense. Special defense is not bad. But where it really shines is being a special attacking Glass can high special attack, high speed. It's one of the best psychic types in the game. There, there aren't a whole lot of those, but like far and away of the regular Pokemon, like non legendaries, like this is the best psychic type you can get in the game if you can get it fully evolved because it's a trade evolution, which means you need to trade Kadabra to get Alakazam. If you can get Alakazam, I can do nothing but recommend this. This fits into like every team. Like, what are you waiting for? Grab an Abra. If you can't get Alakazam. I'm not really sure I can recommend Kadabra as much. 
Like, its stats are good, but it's also frail. Like, don't get me wrong, Alakazam is not going to be tanking anything. But Kadabra's even flimsier than Alakazam, obviously. Like, Alakazam beats up a little bit, but Kadabra does not. So, you're not gonna hit quite as hard, you're not gonna be quite as fast, and your defenses are gonna be wet paper bag. So, make it out of what you will. If you're gonna, if you're gonna use Kadabra all the way through, just be careful. Just be careful. Like, you cannot take a hit from, like, anything. I, I don't know. Um, I tend not to use these when I can't get Alakazam. And there we go. We have everything all... We have everything all swapped around, but I think we're actually going to end this one off here so we can save Route 24 for next time. And we can start off with a cool musical montage of uh, Nugget Prince. So, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, if, you, don't, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, drop a comment down in the section below, and subscribe to the channel for more content. More me yelling about Darren's Curse of Darren's Legend of Darren's who knows. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Next time on uh, Pokemon Leaf Green, we're gonna start off, and we're gonna tackle Nugget Bridge with some musical accompaniment. See you guys! I'll drop a link to my Discord server down in the description below if you have any, any interest in joining that. And I'll have a drop a link to my social medias also in the description. So once again, see you guys next time for a musical accompaniment. See you guys next time for a musical montage and Nugget Bridge. See you later! <laughs>